Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Uh, Mike Semper VV, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Very happy today to be joined by the bad boy Joey Janela here. Hey. Who's been alerted. It's me. It's yes. me. It's that D-O-double-J, baby. Yes. Now, so what we're going to talk about today is, is Fight Forever, which is... Yes. GCW and Orange Crush teaming up. 24-hour continuous streaming professional wrestling event. I've also heard it called a telethon, which will be taking place on GCW's YouTube account January 29th for 24 hours. 100% of the proceeds go to the wrestlers. And you can head to Indiegogo.com, type in Fight Forever. $23,000 has already been raised for this. And Joey, tell us more about this concept. We were, uh, we have like a little uh, Facebook group, as everyone does. And uh, usually everything that happens at GCW kind of goes through that Facebook group. Only a few of us in there. But we were, I was like, uh, after the success of uh, the show we did, uh, when our show got canceled in Las Vegas due to COVID, we still ran um, in Vegas and did a kind of a telephone-esque show where you could donate money to the wrestlers on a closed set, and uh, it was very successful. Uh, the, pay, the paydays that some of those wrestlers got on that day were some of the biggest paydays they've ever seen in their lives. So I was in the group one day. I said, why don't we do a 24-hour wrestling show? And uh, just call it went from there, and I can't believe how organized it's it's become <laughs> because when you think 24 hours of live continuous pro wrestling, you kind of have to think this is going to be a goddamn cluster. Well, yeah. there's still a chance for it to be a cluster. It could be, it could be, it could go 26 hours, but who cares? Oh, what happens if it goes it 26 go, hours? If it goes 28 hours, who cares? Like it might go 35 hours. Uh, no, we, we're not counting. Okay, man. Now, well, how did this idea come about for you? Really, like, did somebody? Were you just like watching old Jerry Lewis telethons? Did you watch the the movie UHF and go, "All right, this is the idea here"? How did this come about? With we're going to do this for twenty four hours, and how did you help to convince people that this is? Hey, all night long, let's go, baby. I would guess he was not watching a Jerry Lewis telethon, but go ahead, Joe. No, no, <laughs> no. That that's not me. I don't watch the the classic jerry lewis telethons but we were just we were just thinking like uh, something different something wild we're not really running live shows as we were um what can we do and uh and that was it 24 hours and we thought it was we think it's it's going to be the longest continuous wrestling show um in america ever but i they've done this in japan i don't know if there was um, gaps in between the blocks, but there was 24 hours continuously of professional wrestling in Japan, and I believe there was one in Canada. But people tell me that one doesn't really count. But whoa, is, whoa, whoa, hold on! What do you mean it doesn't this. count? Because it's in Canada. Uh, yeah, cause the exchange it's in Canada, rate it was only you know. 19 hours. <laughs> no, nah, we're just gonna. It's just it's just my rules. I see. If it's in Canada, it it never happened. It's like having a. 48 hours showing parts unknown. It's, you know, unfortunately, it doesn't count. I see. What's the reaction been yeah. like for this as far as some of the fans and as far as people sponsoring and getting on board for it? Because I know that you can sponsor blocks and things like that. <laughs> What's all that about, and, and how's that uh, coming along? Uh, I, I don't handle any of the logistics. I have severe ADD, and I would have trouble <laughs> responding to the vast number of emails that Brett has received. But he said it's unbelievable. The sponsorships, it's just nonstop. Every 10 minutes, he has three new inquiries for sponsorship. Um, we have uh, Chad Kid Deals, which is nothing to do with wrestling, sponsoring the show, a large sponsor. Uh, they are huge, huge on social media, always with some uh, sick deals, and uh, they're out of the – Bay Area, I believe, uh, in California. And uh, they're a huge sponsor. Fight TV is another huge sponsor. But there's also people sponsoring wrestlers, 
people sponsoring hours, people sponsoring full blocks, full shows. So every two hours or every hour, there'll be a different theme, but it'll be continuous. So obviously with all of these sponsorships and all of the proceeds going to the wrestlers, the the Indiegogo here, I mean, is this just essentially a way for fans to also help support the wrestlers? Obviously, right now it's at $23,000. I mean, we're not talking about divvying up only $23,000, right? There's all the sponsorship money going to the wrestlers uh, as well. Yeah, this is going to be <laughs> – this is good. This is getting out of hand fast. This is going to be a big success. Um, out of hand in a great way. Um, the wrestlers, the paydays they're going to be getting from this are going to be – absolutely incredible um I, I don't i can't tell you right now what i think the final number will be but i think it's going to be well way over everyone thinks it's going to be so uh it's just going to be it's going to be something awesome and after covid is said and done and just ran through its course and everyone is injected with the sweet nectar of the covid vaccine um maybe we can do this next year in front of fans somewhere so now, are, you, are you gonna are you gonna have a payday for this show because uh what are you of course he's well, a he, your dance partner that you were going to have walked into another universe got a new name change and all that stuff and well, now you're left sure in, but i'm sure hey, there's one wrestler out there that he could take on somewhere you, no, yeah. you Alvarez. No, I, how I, much would that cost i'm gonna wrestle i'm gonna still wrestle on this um i refuse to take a payday um for this i am well i'm well off right now um if my action figure addiction doesn't take a hold of me any more than it has you're not um, taking a payday at all in bad shape no i don't want any pay i'm flying myself there i'm gonna rest we need to have a long talk joey it's not what you make it's what you save but also what you make ryan i'm saving it in action figures okay i'm gonna flip them i'm gonna flip them if i ever become uh uh, the Marty Jannetty of uh, our generation. If you were the Marty Jannetty of this generation, Joey, who yeah. is the Shawn Michaels? Oh, man. Well, Sonny Kiss right now is my tag team partner, so good possibility of that happening. You Sonny know, Kiss loses charisma. Uh, certainly does. Now, the other question that I have, uh, speaking of old school wrestling, is I could not help but notice that on your Twitter page, your your banner up there is just, it's a big picture of Sid. Yes. Well, tell me about it. I don't this. know why. I don't know why. You don't know why? I it's your Twitter. I, I think just one night I was drunk and I saw this picture of Sid and then I just changed my banner. <laughs> well, I don't is, know. It is quite the picture of Sid right there. Yeah, it's Sid. And Sid is the legend, you know. He most gotta, certainly we have, is. We all have a little bit of Sid in us. Now, now, as a as a fan of Sid, Joey, I have to ask you. I mean, were you more a fan of Sid's matches or some of his legendary promos? It's hard to say. Older promos. When I was a kid, matches. Uh, the first picture I, the first wrestler I ever met and took a picture with is Sid. Really. Um, and that was at a Dennis Carluzzo show in Jersey in 1998, uh, right as right after Sid was released from the WWF uh, final run. So he was pretty miserable, as you can see the pictures <laughs> on uh, my social media. Yeah, pretty he... miserable guy. He's wearing a, he's got the craziest tan of all time, uh, and uh, I think it was right before his uh, what was that 1999 WCW run. Oh yeah, that was a legendary. Actually, that was well, it was it was hit and miss. We'll put it that way. So I never really, I don't think we ever talked about this on the show. But what are your what are your earliest memories of pro wrestling? I mean, what did you see? What got you into watching? And at what point did you decide I will someday be the bad boy? Oh man, um, when I was a kid, my grandmother was a huge professional wrestling fan. I'm not talking massive uh, to the point that. In the house, somewhere in my – my aunt lives there now. Somewhere in the attic, there, we found most of her stuff. I have a Hogan clock from her, some old WWF stuff. I have a Gorilla Monsoon autograph picture from her. There's somewhere in there, there's an Andre the Giant autograph picture in the attic. We could never find it. It's there somewhere. But she kind of got me into wrestling. I kind of see these characters, the Hulk Hogan's, the – 
honky tonk mans and million dollar mans of the world. And I bought those three action figures and one of the giant talking Hulk Hogan action figures. And those were kind of, uh, those are my first memories of wrestling. And then I kind of watched a little bit and kind of fell out of it and fell into the Power Rangers uh, Bermuda Triangle. And then somewhere, I think in 96, yeah, somewhere in 96, I got back into wrestling through WCW because Hulk Hogan, you know, kind of went there, of course, and the cruiserweight, then the cruiserweights and the Mysterios of the world. And then I went back to WWF because Steve Austin, as most did. And from there, then I was just addicted and since I think from 98 till now, I haven't stopped watching professional wrestling. There was no time that I, well, now I don't watch it at all, but, but yeah. I don't know what your memories are of, of like 95, 96, 97 WCW, but it was awesome. And when I, when I watch AEW today, it reminds me of the early good days of Nitro. Do you get that impression? I said this to someone the other day. I said, "I said this is the most WCW show <laughs> because it's great. It's such a variety. It's not you don't know what you're gonna get with the AEW product. It's like it's a mixed bag. Uh, that's why it's so awesome. And they're not afraid to experiment, um, you know, and and do things outside the box and and change things, you know." then in there and uh, just roll with it. And that's pretty cool. And that's how I feel WCW was. And um, well, in a good way in the, in the, those early days of 96 and maybe 97 when WCW was not too out of control. But, you know, the uh, thing also that, that you just kind of mentioned it right there, but if you watch WWE programming, it's like everybody works the exact same style. So it doesn't matter who you match up. You know what the match is going to be. Whereas with WCW, and it was like this on the indies, obviously, as well, but with WCW, you could have, like, Meng and the Barbarian versus the Blue Bloods. It's like, what? You don't know what you're going to get yeah. when that happens. The amazing and friendship. that's how exactly. I feel. Yeah, that's how I feel watching AEW as well. And like I said, obviously, the indies. Like, And that was one of the things that you were always about, which was, what kind of wacky match can we put together? Oh, let's do this guy and this guy. It's crazy. Yeah, it's great. That's why I like AEW, because people is. Every week they announce a new crop of matches for Dynamite the next week, and some of those matches are random. This week you got Peter Avalon and Cody Rhodes. Yes. And people, you know how people are on the internet. They're like, how does this make sense? Go back to the 90s and tune into a, a, a Nitro in 96 and watch Ric Flair wrestle Ultimo Dragon. It's exactly. Like, this, is, this is, this is, this is, uh, this is the bread and butter of TV professional wrestling, and that's how people are made. This is how, like, this is how DDP was made in the in the nineties. You know, he just caught on by just doing random matches on <laughs> on, on on television. Well, and stand by, just- and uh, we got to head to a break very quickly. Back in a moment to talk more about Fight Forever Wrestling Observer Live. Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Alive. Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Joey Janela joining us. Fight Forever takes place over 24 or maybe more hours. January 29th, 8 Eastern on GCW's YouTube channel. Game Changer Wrestling Video is the channel. Indiegogo up at Indiegogo.com. Just search Fight Forever. You can pitch in. And Joey, let's get some plugs in for everything. Yeah, I just uh, it's also going to be on Fight TV now because that's one of our big sponsors. So it's going to be on YouTube and Fight TV. Please donate to the Indiegogo. This means so much to me, to independent wrestling. I, I care about independent wrestling more than I care about myself. I, I love independent wrestling. Uh, even though I'm signed to a mainstream professional wrestling company, I put my blood, sweat, and tears into GCW and the indie wrestling. I'll defend it to the, to the grave. But uh, it's just, uh, it's going to be amazing. Um, like, like they said, catch on YouTube. You don't have to stay up the whole thing. I know there's some freaks out there, some weirdos that will stay up for the 24 hours. And God bless them. Monsters hmm. and 
tuning in for the full thing. But if you tune in for the full thing, you're going to catch some 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 black black horses for match of the year, and you're going to catch some absolute master class professional wrestling match of the year candidates, some wacky stuff, some really really terrible wrestling, some death <laughs> match wrestling. You're going to see Effie and his. Uh, is I don't know what he's calling it. It's collectively called it the Gay Brunch, and now it's. Uh, uh, let me see. You. Gay after. <laughs> well, let's, uh, well, if you want more, everybody, we got it. We're up against the uh, the end of the show, but at Janella Baby on Twitter is where you find it. Joey, thanks so much. Best of luck with everything, and thanks to y'all for listening. We'll talk to you next time. Wrestling Observer Live. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.